my life be like ooh ah ooh, ooh my life be like ooh ah ooh ah mm. it's Brooklyn, dude. It's Brooklyn, dude. What is that from? Can I say that? Has anybody come gonna check my uh, Brooklyn card? Dude, it's the internet, right? You could just um, run around saying whatever. Uh, welcome to the studio. We about to dish it out live. Cleaned up the room. Feeling spacious, dude. Feeling spacious as I uh, lay down here on the floor um, to sit down and uh, give y'all this powwow. Get a little powwow, dude. A little chow. A little chow down. Um, countdown's on. What do we got for y'all today? Man, it's been a... Took a few days off, man. Um, Obviously, Thanksgiving, you know, I, I was out of town. Went and saw my parents. They're about five hours away. So, you know, and then time just kind of goes by fast. Um, You know, I brought all these books thinking I was going to read and never did. But we ate a lot. We had some great times, you know quality time took some pictures ate some good food saw the dogs i'm gonna get into it man i'm, I'm you know do y'all really want to hear what i did for thanksgiving and black friday i mean or whatever family time i hope so because that's what you're getting um because like there's not any kids running around so i kind of want to know how y'all's thanksgivings were different maybe y'all had um you know a bunch of little ones running around or a big family gathering or trying somebody new's food that you're not sure if you can trust dude you're a little bit scared um but i'm gonna get into everything that happened man some, i got some great stories for y'all some positivity some quotes um just some thoughts some activities that I went through we'll see I, i'm probably got a lot just so excited to get back to doing a video man it was eating me up like that i couldn't do a video for a few days um but let's start out, man. Let's just let's just literally be grateful, man, that we were given today. Um, it's like three in the morning right now, dude. I stay up, man. I ain't sleep until I get this video out. Oh, that's a note I put. I ain't sleep until I really get this video out. Um, you know, because I come home from work and I'll um you know, I got my routine. I'll do a couple recreational videos. Then I'll try to watch some of y'all's videos, um, comment. Then maybe I'll maybe I'll read. Maybe I'll clean up. Maybe I'll I'll write down some goals, things like that. Uh, meditate, then shower, then kind of get into a uh, get into a little uh, just a kickback, little relaxation, little talk with you guys. But today, like, um, yeah, being thankful for it. Like today's a gift, man. It's a present. It's a reward. Um, it could be a sign that we need to keep going. Dude, but there's also been times where I felt like every day I was given was like a punishment. Um, so I hope y'all are really just, you know, basking it in, dude. Soaking it up. Um, living it. Um, so let's see what we saw. Um, dude, my friend, you know, he's nice enough to give me a ride to the rental car place. Even though he wasn't feeling good. So I definitely, you know, I'm, I'm happy to have friends like that and people willing to sacrifice some time, do something for you. Um, and then we saw, as he's dropping me off, we saw all these construction workers out uh, eating lunch together, man. Like on out on the site, on the job, like over this long um, plank of wood, kind of. This really thin, uh, just sheet of wood. And they're all just, you know, posted up, you know, sandwiches, subs, um, you know, canned sodas, Powerades, post it up, man, just eating a nice lunch, dude, in the middle of a hard day is just, is just amazing, you're so happy to get that break, maybe kick your shoes off, get off your feet, sit down, joke with your buddies, and if I didn't have to go anywhere, my friend, you know, he wasn't feeling so good, I was like, dude, we should literally go in the food court, grab our lunch, and say, hey, man, yo, you mind, y'all mind if we, uh, just eat lunch with you guys, you know, just, just, just vibe with them like that. Just kind of see how their day was going. Um, you know, cause they're, they're doing that hard work out there. Um, so anyway, then, then I get the, I get the rental car and then we're heading down uh, to go see my parents. And, um, it was cool cause I get to ride with my brother and his dog. 
Um, and that's just a bunch of quality time. You know, we long ride. We have, uh, he, you know, he's obviously a music expert. He's playing great songs that I would never play because um, he just knows so much more than me um, when it comes to that. And then he's, you know, you know, I can ask a question. Oh, who's this hard? You know, what, you know, and dude, he will hit me with the wildest, craziest. Oh, okay, well, this started here, but then th then there's this backstory. And then, and then this guy met this guy actually through this guy. <laughs> and dude it just goes on and on and on like his music knowledge is so extensive but it's so cool it's so cool to listen to him talk about it um we got to go to cracker barrel man eat so many biscuits grape jelly blackberry strawberry just jellying those things up raspberry maybe i don't know um the complimentary biscuits had you know a burger some pancakes chilling man having a really good time um the ride seemed long, but dude, we're making the most out of it. We're we're chatting, we're discussing, we're you know we're talking jokes or our expectations or just you know excited to get a little break from working. All really great stuff, man. We get there, um, you know they're up, they're waiting for us. It's a little bit dark, but you know we just we chill, we talk to them, give them big hugs, uh, have some pie, you know. Just it just felt like um felt like a lot of our Thanksgivings. Which is awesome that you can still kind of um even though the years change and you get older, you know, things kinda can still feel the same. So that was really cool. I, you know, then then at night, same thing. Like my parents, they they go to sleep really early. Me and my brother, we stay up really late. It's just like when we were kids. Um, and we're, you know, out on the patio watching motivational youtube videos or or watching tv or you know um just talking about what's been going on in the uh in the news or our current our current lives um so all really great stuff dude to be able to you know because i get selfish and just like being by myself but to get to spend that time with you with your family is really cool to just take a break um I was having a good time. I was really appreciative. Let's see what else we got here. Um, oh, yeah, it's kind of fun, dude, when you're, like, on the road, right? You're on a road trip somewhere with anybody or maybe by yourself. You're going – if you're going, like, 30 minutes outside your house, dude, you look at everywhere you're passing. You kind of, you, you kind of like, start acting like you're a travel agent and you're, like, you're like scoping out the area and you're like, yeah, man, you know. What would it be like living out here? Oh, I could see myself here. Oh, yeah. And you dude, you start visualizing your life out there. No matter where, dude. I probably did that 50 times um, on this five-hour trip, dude. Like, oh, okay. I could see myself here. Yeah. I'd, oh, I'd want something like this. Post up here. This would probably be my job. It's so funny, dude, that our minds do that. I don't know if it's the creativity or the imagination or the boredom or we just love. We love the like a new possibility that hasn't been explored the hypothetical um so i was having a real fun time doing that as as was my brother um and i told him this quote and he he dude he's just like he's just like me and we're both just like our dad like we love telling and, and my and my mom just all of us it's awesome that we love you know if we hear a good quote we'd like to share it and then, and then, and then, kind of rebring it up in a in a conversation to reinforce a point or have someone look at something a different way. I think, man, a, a nicely timed quote at the right time just really hits. And speaking of, let me let me mark my spot right here. Oh, okay, we were coming into a quote. I was going to say, let me get you a quote over here, but I got one right here. Um, I told him this. Uh, one man like they said like don't worry about what a year is or what like time is because they basically said one man gets only a week's worth out of a year while the other guy gets a full year so um a lot of it's that time management what are you doing with your time are you absolutely maxing it out and um you tell me, dude. Don't lie to me right now. I want you to think about it. Uh, think it over through the night. Um, get back to me, hopefully, the next day. So, 
Um, and my mom, yeah, and you know, it's, you know, it's Thanksgiving. You're not really supposed to do gifts, but, uh, and I've never understood, like, I used to never understand gifts. Um, I used to hate giving gifts. I used to hate getting gifts, both of them, just not my thing, really. Um, I mean, I guess getting gifts sometimes was cool, you know, an un unexpected thing. Actually, actually, I think it would be better, it'd be better if you kind of told them what you wanted kind of takes the point out of it but now i finally understand what the whole giving gifts is about thing it's for the person giving the gifts too man but my mom gave just an absolutely amazing gift just the fact that she thought of us um the fact that we're gonna be able to use it it was just so thoughtful was so kind she got us like a um a tripod so i can like hold my phone up and get get new ideas or different ways to shoot videos which um, is going to be awesome. It really is going to be freaking wild. Um, Okay, okay, what else happened here? Oh, I got to talk to my grandma. Like, I literally, you know, I'm not proud of it, guys. I've been ducking her calls for years. We barely see each other. She'll call me, like, once a year on my birthday, and I'll duck it. But since it was Thanksgiving and she was talking to my dad, like, phone got passed to me. And you know what? It felt good to talk to her. She's really a nice, sweet person. Um, that was nice. They make the same jokes, dude. Her and my dad and probably me. We've been making the same jokes for years and years and years. Really funny. Really funny stuff. Dude. They, they might get funnier every year. I don't know. Um, then we watched... Um, we watched, first of all, we watched Hercules, the old Disney movie. I used to have a computer game that was just like it. And, dude, watching some of these kids' movies back, like, they're deep as shit. Some deep, deep undercover meanings for the adults. But Hercules was basically about, like, him, like, truly having to become a hero to, to um, get his god status back that he lost. Um, and, you know, he basically had to lay his life on the line for a woman that he loved and, and just, like, be willing to switch places and sacrifice his life for hers. And that was when he truly um, regained his, his God status and his immortality and, and you know, his strength and power. And, you know, he, he was able to do, go back up and live with Zeus again and, in, in, you know, in the clouds. And, but, you know, he, he said, dude, it's not even worth it because I want to live with this girl down on earth that he, that he loved. And dude, and then, and then from her perspective, dude, she had sold her soul to Hades for this man that, you know, she said she loved. And I think, um, she basically like sold it, sold her soul for like this, to be with this guy. And then he left her. And so she had, like, given up on love. And, you know, she was, like, doing his bidding. Dude, it was deep. And then speaking of that, we're going to go right into The Grinch, the 2018 version. We watched that one, dude. I haven't seen that one. Dude, The Grinch, I'd never realized. I never realized the the reason he hates Christmas is because he was an orphan. And he never got anything on Christmas or anybody was there for him. And so, he, you know, he'd look and resent other people. And, dude, I got so sad, man. But the Grinch, like, in this version, this 2018 version, I feel like you could see his good side a little bit earlier and that he always kind of, he, he kind of was reaching out and wanted to be a part of things and, and actually had a heart a little bit more than they used to do it. But also, dude, maybe that even struck me harder than the Grinch thing was old Cindy Lou Who, dude. Oh, my goodness. The whole movie, she's like, I need to find Santa. You know, I, I need to deliver my wish list personally. This is important. Like, I'm going to go to the North Pole. Oh, I'm not going to make it. Like, dude, fuck, how do I tell this guy? And, dude, her wish. The entire movie, Cindy Lou Who, God bless her dear heart, was that she wanted um, her mom's life to be easier and better and not, not so tough. And she's just saying, you know, I know how much my mom works and what she does and I just want her to be happier and get everything she wants what a wish guys what a wish man um and I you know what like damn that, that shit hit me man and I wish that for y'all right now my wish is that 
that y'all's life is easier and better and happier, man. Because I got everything I need, it feels like, right now. Um, so that's that. That is that. After um, we ate Thanksgiving meal the next day, I tried to go on a walk to avoid that Thanksgiving nap. Spoiler alert, there is no uh, avoiding the Thanksgiving nap. Basically, when I got back from the, the walk, it did happen. But I will say the food was delicious. Um, my mom cooked it all up. It really is amazing. I know she does. She goes through a lot. And the time it takes and the effort and the cleanup and the, and the leftovers. And then hoping everybody's enjoying it. And, you know, she can't really get a minute to relax until it's kind of all the food's ready. Um, but you know, we really appreciate it. I tried to tell her multiple times, you know, how good it was, or thank you for doing this, or, you know, um, we all, you know, had clean plates, so I hope she was happy and, and realized that she did a great thing for us. Um, but anyway, so then I go on a walk after, dude, best walk ever. I slow walk that thing, dude, I'm breathing in the nature, it's not too hot, not too cold, Maybe a little bit of a mist. I'm just in this this circle, this gazebo of a hood of trees, basically walking down this this one path, man, and hearing frogs and birds and squirrels and you know different little different little animals out there. And as I was going on the walk, I was I was just visualizing. I was doing my affirmations because I hadn't gotten to do them, and it just put me in a great mood. And like the walk was the perfect time. I think down and back it took me maybe about forty minutes, but at a slow pace. I just enjoyed it, and you know what? One of the cool and like nobody's on the street. You know, it's Thanksgiving. Nobody's doing shit, and I think I heard a family kind of hooping and hollering back in the back on the way back, which was nice to hear. And then I saw um, on my way back. When I was really close, I saw this dude driving in, like, a really old pickup truck. He's driving, and he's got the window down, and he's barely going slow. And then, the, you know, they, they pull up and beside me and kind of wave at me. And um, the coolest thing was that he's got his little, maybe his little son or his grandson, this really little little boy. This kid's probably about four. Um, just sitting in his lap up front, you know, like he's driving with the window down or something on this slow um, not busy road. So that was really cool. I was happy I got to see that. Um, do, 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 do. Is that everything as far as... Yeah, then, then, then there was a, um, a Harry Potter marathon that happened later. Um, I got to play my dad in chess and Blackjack 21. Those were some good fun bonding times. Um, you know, took it to my dad a little bit too hardcore, you know, say, Hey, I'm the man of the house now. And not sure what he thought about that. What is this? Not in my car. Oh, okay. We're getting there. Um, what else happened? What else happened? What else happened? I got some, I got some couple new pairs of sunglasses. You guys know I had to do it to them always. That's going to come up later. Um, we recreated a photo. Recreated a photo, like an old, an old Christmas photo that we had, us four. All standing next to the Christmas tree was awesome. Um, their dog was in like the doggy hospital getting like x-rays. Like we were scared that she had eaten something and there was something she might need surgery They cut her open and then she had her miracle cams uh miracle thanksgiving day return that was beautiful um I, I saw that my mom still had this like flower that i got her on like either mother's day or her birthday and um it was like a guy that like had like made a made a flower I, you know he's just working and I, I bought it from him and that shit the fact that that shit's lasting and she still has it felt really good to me. Uh, but yeah, I wish I could have stayed more. It was a really fun time, but you know, I had to go back to work. Um, got to recharge a little bit. Um, do, 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 do. I really missed watching y'all's videos a lot. Feels good to get back. 
Mm, okay. Now these are going to be a little out of chronological order because there's going to be like some when I'm back and then some probably still when I'm there that I can't figure out. I, I was just totally jumping around. That was a little unorganized, a little unorthodox, baby. Let's go. Um, do, 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 do. Dude, today I had some meaningful, I'm going to say it again, meaningful head nods. They just felt, they felt different, man. They felt, they felt important. Just walking by a guy, you know, and I'm leaving, he's entering, and I think, you know, he he was probably just going to stare at me with a blank face, his mouth kind of open. But I was just, you know, give him that, give him that smile and that head nod. And then it was like we were buddies now. It was like if I would have gotten jumped right when I walked outside, dude, he would have came in probably to my rescue, probably, 100%. That's what I felt like that head nod did. And I think I had another head nod. It was at least two, maybe three. I think the second one might have been with a, oh, yeah, it was with, like, this lady who kind of, I'm going up the stairs, she's going down the stairs. Um, Women always look a little bit scared of me, is what it is. I call it my charm. <laughs> Uh, they seem to want to duck and run the other way. Um, it's a nice effect I usually have, but give her that head nod, uh, head nod, kind of like some eggnog, kind of like um, felt like I calmed her down, soothed her, and maybe um, if she was having a bad day, maybe she would have shared a little um, a little intrusive thought with me or something. Like I kind of um, brought the guard down, you know kind of took the gloves off and then I think the third one too was like a lady I was just delivering a food and she was in her apartment complex and I just gave her that head nod but that was like the we're neighbors but she didn't know I was just delivering food it was like oh yo we neighbor we live here you know we on the same we making the same we paying the same we living we driving the same roads you know it was like uh it was like one of those head nods, but little did she know I fooled her. <laughs> Sign me up for an acting class. Um, apologize. Okay, what else happened? Here we go. Um, my brother, yeah, on the way back, we would talk about just just the similar traits that we share with our with our parents, and kind of uh, we talk about. You know, I I brought up a memory that he said, "Oh, dude, I never think about that. It's really nostalgic." And he'll do that to me all the time. And um, we would talk about, you know, our cousin and our or our half sister or our other cousins or um, kind of the path that our parents took or our, or our friends' parents or what we remember. Or, dude, you you could just go on and on and on. We're watching like funny moments on podcasts. Then he tells me, you know, because I, I, I just asked him, hey, you like Tom Petty? Because I love Tom Petty. And, dude, once again, this is how good his music knowledge is. He goes, yeah, no, he's pretty good. Like, you know, and, you know, there's definitely people I'm more into. But, um, you know, he did join this, like, super group with, like, George Harrison and Bob Dylan and two other guys. And I was like, no way. And I went today and, like, just looked up a song from that album. Dude, it was so good, so good. It's basically like a, it's basically like a "Don't Worry, um, It'll Be All Right" song, but also like with a little bit of knowledge infused. And then there was even a part where it's like, "Don't be embarrassed by the car you drive, dude." And I've been embarrassed before, so that felt good to see. That felt good to hear. It felt good to see. It felt good to hear. Um, also. I saw my buddy when I got back, and it was just good vibes seeing him. You know, we both traded our Thanksgiving stories, and then we, we goofed and we ragged on each other a little bit and um, just had fun for just a couple minutes out in his driveway. And then his, and then his dad comes out, and he's he's a little drunk, but he's got his lady over. And then, and then my buddy calls me a little bit later, and he's like, dude, I just got kicked out of the house so my dad could have sex with this, with his girl, which is hilarious, dude. Um, cause it's just him and his dad living there and the fact that he's getting kicked out and the fact that his dad is also scoring more than us, pretty hilarious. Shout out to you, Eric. You're the man. Um, you're holding it down. We're proud of you. It's all about being happy for others sometimes, guys. Um, 
And then me and my friend, we, we started getting into telling some crazy sex stories back and forth, dude. And it was just hilarious. You know, hey, you ever tried this one? You ever, hey, you ever tried to fool a girl with this one? Or, hey, what do you do when this one, when this, when this, when you try to pull off a move like this and it doesn't work, you, you kind of apologize or, or just get the hell out of Dodge, act like it didn't happen. Maybe, maybe quick subject change. Um, you know, um, we had a bunch of good ones. I don't know how many uh, I'm ready to share or disclose, but one of these days, one of these days, we'll do a bag man up close and personal behind the scenes, triple X rated. Um, <laughs> no, we won't do that, dude. We won't do that because there's going to be. Uh, too many T TMZ interviews of girls coming out um, saying, I don't know what he was just describing, but that was not how I saw things. Um, that was totally his side of the story. What else happened? What else happened? What else happened? Oh, I had this lady that came up to me, dude, and she was just somehow like, you eat a lot of fried food, don't you? And, she was, and I was like, fuck yeah, that's all I eat. It's good, right? She's like, no, I'm going to save your life. You need to cut out the, fr the fried food. You need to cut out the fried food. So I'm going to slowly try to do that. She said something about, like, your blood circulation. But she kept, dude, I don't know who this woman was, if she was a witch. I don't know if I dreamed this. I don't know. Um, I don't know what her power, dude. I don't know if someone put her up to this. You know, her girls are making a joke or they run the salad bar you know across the street but she kept just looking at me and saying how do i where do i look the most i'm gonna save your life dude just heavy eye contact i'm gonna save your life dude so uh gotta be feeling good for Bagman right now he's obviously um on to bigger and better let me mix in a quote right here do what you did in the beginning of the relationship and there won't be an end. Hey, yo, <laughs> I'll have what this guy's having. You know what I mean? That was Tony Robbins. And like, yeah, think about it, dude. When you first start talking to a girl or a nice lad, um, you get you a fella or something. And, um, I know me, like I fall in love in about mm, an hour and a half, usually about 90 minutes. About the third episode of something on Netflix. Um, but anyway, yeah, I'm putting in the effort, dude. I'm being nice. I'm a listener. I'm talkative. I'm, I'm caring. I'm sweet. I'm patient. I'm, you know, I want to do things for them. I, you know, I want to spend as much time for them. I'm there for them. I, you know, hearing them out, thinking of them, texting them a lot, calling them, always in a good mood, happy to see them, holding hand, you know. Dude, I pull out all the stops, and I think, and I think the same thing for her that she's probably doing. Um, that 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 quote unquote honeymoon phase, but then yeah, eventually you just you know, don't greet them with the same energy. Don't want to quite talk as much. Um, don't quite maybe give them as many compliments or show them how you care in different ways. Uh, maybe you're quicker to get angry. Um. So I really thought that was a cool quote. Do what you did in the beginning. Like, yeah, dude. Who were those two happy? Who were those happy? Who's the, uh... Who's the couple of the hour? Night of the day. I don't know. Think about it. Just saying. Right? I mean, I'm, 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 I'm just saying. Um, Here's something funny. If my brother watches this. Um, a little call out for him, a little call out, but at the same time, compliment. And at the same time, I learned to take it as a positive and, and kind of change it and cool with it. But we're on the way back. We have maybe, maybe have like an hour left to get home. And we were just having some fun, you know, watching some YouTube and somebody calls him and dude, he answers this call. <laughs> Cause my brother's a big talker. He answers this call and just talks on the phone for an hour. Like, literally right next to me. I feel like there's a little bit of a car etiquette. It's you and other person. You can't really answer the phone, talk for an hour. 
but it's not like then I can get on the phone. I can't really put on the radio. I didn't really want to roll my window down too much. Um, you know, I want to be with my thoughts, but obviously I'm hearing you talk. So it's like kind of like a mix between I'm able to be in my own thoughts and then hearing yours. But I eventually kind of came to terms with it, accepted it, tried to spin it as a positive. I was like, dude, no way. And he did say sorry after. And he did say he was like, because he wanted to be there for his friends too, which I totally understand actually. But the thing I finally started enjoying was like, dude, this guy's consistent. He's the same guy on the phone with me as his friend, as as probably with my mom or his other buddy or dude, for me, I'm like different around different friends. So I was like, man, I, that's pretty cool that he's got this consistency. He said a couple good quotes to his buddy. He was in, they were encouraging each other. It's a real good positive conversation I feel like to listen to. So by the end, I wasn't too mad at all. Wasn't too bothered. Wasn't too annoyed, but at first I was like, for like the first five or ten minutes, I was like, dude, what's he doing, bro? <laughs> but, you know, whatever. That's a real small little nitpick thing, dude. I just thought it was funny, and I was going to share that. Um, What else we got here? Dude, today, just today, Christmas songs came a running in. Ready? Uh, most wonderful time of the year. Um, White Christmas. Holly Jolly. Um, we're simply having a wonderful Christmas time. Simply having a wonderful Christmas time. Apparently that's from Paul McCartney, dude. Who would have thought? He sounds like he could have been one of the Backstreet Boys. Um, with a name like that. With a name like that, dude. I, I Googled today. Um, I went to the library page. I'm finding all these events. Book clubs. Chess clubs. Ya bish. Ya beach. Ya beach. Ya beach. Ya bush. Um, so excited about it. So excited about it. So I'm going to start being a, um, yeah, pulling up whenever. Dude, dude, the classes were crazy. They had like a family Lego night. They got cooking classes. They got green screen classes. They got 3D printing classes. I mean, they got, they got help you with your language classes. They got book clubs. They got poetry nights. They got this. They got that. They got just, I mean, dude, I was going crazy, man. The whole time I complain and say there's nothing to do. Nobody wants to do anything. Everything costs money. Fuck this. How am I supposed to meet anybody? Dude, the whole time, man, they was right under my own nose, dude. Right under my chin, dude. You just got to open up, man. So we're about to go out there conquer the world. About to go out there do some big things. You know what I mean? I'm about to, I'm about to they call me AKA Mr. Stepladder, dude. And if you don't think I'm going to get kicked out of my first event by trying to grab a woman and put her on my shoulders, you obviously don't know Bagman Jones that well. Um, But that's happening. So I just need you guys to support me. Maybe a, a petition gets going around or maybe I need to get reinstated and I might need a couple of y'all on some signatures. That's fine. You guys, I know y'all will come through for me. I'm not even worried about it. Here's a story for you. Read it in my book the other day, and I thought, am I going to tell it? Am I going to share it, or am I not? Is there a time? Time is now. There's no time like now. Um, we're in that present, baby. Um, so these two guys, brothers. Those brothers, dude. Brothers of destruction. Um, this is like a, I don't know, story back in the day. I don't know if it's a, if it's a metaphor. I don't even know if it's real, but... We're just going to play it like it's real. Does it really matter? I don't know. You'll get the point. Two brothers. They stole. They stole. Um, they got caught when they were young. Stealing a couple sheep. Grabbing a couple of those woolly mammoths. Dude. 
and uh, they steal a couple sheep, get out of there, get caught, whatever. The town's like, what are we going to do? Okay, we're going to have to, um, what's it called when you burn them? Not like a tattoo, but like you, you hit them with this thing, I'm, like they do like a cow. Um, I just knew the word, but you guys know, like where they, where they burn you, they sizzle in, they mark you permanently, and they put ST on them. Sheep thief. Um, and the one brother, he goes, one brother can't handle it, and he goes to like another con uh, country to try to start over. But obviously everyone sees the ST, and they ask him all the time, and he just can't live it down. It's awful, and he kills himself. The other brother stayed there, and he said, fuck, I mean, you know, what's done is done. That shit happened in the past. Yeah, I'll admit it, you know, but it's my job right now. I need to rebuild. I need to rebuild my character and my reputation and just, just make the most out of this and try to be the best person I can, and that's what he did, and he did it for probably 40, 50 years, and he became, like, the most trusted person in the in the town and people loved him and people you know things were forgiven like he you know he he rode over that and they said like way later someone said yeah what is that st like that he has what is that like they didn't even remember and one of the people in the town said oh i think it stands for saint st for saint dude isn't that amazing man so yeah I've done bad things. You've done bad things. Okay? I don't ever want to be defined by them. You know? I, I, I preach forgiveness and acceptance. But at the same time, I, I just think that if you go long enough doing new, better, improved things, hopefully you'll be more remembered for those, dude. You know, rather than you being remembered for... You know, being dishonest or not loyal or, or, or cheating or um, stealing or fighting, bullying, drunkenness, you know. Yeah, we accept that. We move on um, and we we try to relay the foundation of a, of a new person, new personality, a rebirth. Who are we going to be? Every day you get another chance to. Kind of rewrite your legacy. Um, man, that's just facts. So, um, dude, it was cool too. My brother, when he picked me up and gave me my final ride today, and we saw this lady, and like I had ten dollars cash on me, and I would have given it to her, but she was like on the other side of the road, and um, you know, she's holding out a sign. She needs like a heart implant surgery or something. And my brother saw it, and he just made the comment, like, yeah, you know. I wish I could help her more, you know, like, he's like, he's like, that would be a great part of me being rich, like, to be able to give away money and help people like that. I think everybody innately has that thought and that quality and that feeling. I heard somebody else talking about, just literally overheard someone saying like, yeah, if I had it, I would give it away. Um, and it's easy to say, but I really genuinely believe them. Um... Isn't that cool about people? Like, if we do have enough, the next thing we're thinking about is, okay, let, let me help somebody else out. Let me give this away. Who needs this more than what I'm doing with it? Um, so hopefully we can continue to do stuff like that. Um, here's a quote for you. Anxiety is practicing failure in advance. <laughs> Literally, like, you're, you're saying you already failed. What is this? Dang, I thought I was going to get one in the 30 minutes. We're up to 39. Dang it, dude. I was like, okay, maybe we uh, time crunched this thing down. But I'm almost done. Um, Quote by F. Scott Fitzgerald, one of my favorite writers. I wish I had done everything on earth with you. Dude, if you have that one, don't lose them. Don't take people for granted, man. And live life with them. Don't just fall into a, a lame, whack routine. Do fun things. Write them down. Have a jar that y'all pick out of. You know, tell them. Make make life fun. Because you never know when they could be gone. So, 
yeah i wish i had done everything on earth you that's pretty cool um here's one wait I'll, I'll do this one at the end um i saw a bunch of mother daughter lookalikes in this one restaurant it's so cool just just watching the way the mother even watches the daughter her eyes are kind of on alert they're darting they're looking they're looking for you know they're looking for we're in chipotle and they're looking for like a car to be speeding across the street or something in the restaurant i don't they're just looking for danger and they're just always on high alert but their faces just look the same and you can just see what that girl's going to grow up to look like and i don't know i think a mother daughter look alike is kind of just a beautiful cool sign to show life and family and aging and maturity and um where where we come from what we're from legacy family tree type stuff i don't know i don't know but i will tell you this i did see somebody wearing a shirt so this lady was wearing the shirt that said um doing this thing called whatever i want and it dude you know you know girls it just it just sounded sassy but i kind of liked it and it kind of sounded fun kind of sounded confident it kind of sounded like a kid it kind of just sounded like let's just enjoy life um it's kind of my message dude so maybe i get a shirt like that but i thought it was just funny i read one good news story where it's this lady in her 60s during the pandemic had a breakup um taught herself guitar and and, and has become since then like a pretty successful blues um, musician and just goes to show it's never too late. It's, it's never too late. Also, it goes to show people, people say that heartbreak can really inspire you to do some great things. Um, get you motivated, get you to push for more or rediscover yourself or, yeah, or just kind of heading a new path, so... I thought that was really cool. And I think that's it. I got one more quote. Here we go. I got to stand up for this one. And then we're heading out. Um, Wait, what is it? It goes like this, man. As I leave y'all with this. Make your lifestyle about life. Not style. Or at least that's what the quote says. Mix in a little style. That's what Bagman Jones says. I'm out.